Greetings everyone, it is I, Irish Trekkie, back with another Star Trek The Official Starships Collection issue review, this time featuring issue 139, we have the Vadwar Assault Fighter. So, yes, I've been looking forward to this one, and um, I think I was right to do so. Um, bit of an odd fish, but looks like a really good model. But uh, we'll jump into that in a minute because we're going to have a look at the magazine. But before I do, tis the season to be merry. So Merry Christmas, everyone. And I hope you're going to have a great new year ahead of you. Um, so with that said and done, let's put this to one side and let's see what goodies lay inside the magazine, shall we? So Crew 1 launched 15th century. Length 70 meters, weapons, particle cannon. So this is a ship from Voyager. So we have our four sections um, about the fighter designing the ship. Star Trek Voyager Season 6 visual effects and on-screen appearances. So this is a Delta Quadrant native. It's a fighter. Uh, subspace corridor propulsion um, with 70, 70 meters long. Our standard uh, up-close graphics with our mounting instructions on the aft there. Looks like a good one. Kind of slips in between... Um, the cavities in the back of the ship. So if you remember the story, I'm, I don't remember vividly, but um, this was a, a civilization that discovered or started using these kind of corridors to, you know, reach out into the stars and, you know, attack um, neighboring planets and kind of plunder them and, you know, became a very well-to-do society um, until... You know, like a coalition of these kind of beaten down civilizations um, said enough's enough, got together and sheer numbers won over, you know, technological advancement and kind of uh, drove them to extinction bar, you know, a few kind of bunkers and stuff like that as well. Um, here we have one of the corridors. So the USS Voyager was pulled into subs a subspace corridor, but could not find its way out. Uh, the Turi, who had been one of the Vadwar's enemies, eventually rescued the ship. Uh, the Turi, even? Yeah, sorry. Then uh, demanded that Starfleet crew uh, delete all information about the corridors. But when they refused, the Turi attacked them. Again, this was quite a strategic uh, asset from, for all of these uh, kind of old civilizations. Um, but again, could be misused for, you know, on the spot attacks and stuff like that as well. So, um, yeah, the Vadwar assault fighter was a small, highly maneuverable combat ship that was in operation in our 15th century. Um, it was capable of flying in both uh, the atmosphere, um, off a planet and in space and could be operated by a single pilot. Um, so very capable, uh, car uh, aircraft. Um, what else do we have here? Um, Agile Craft was equipped with two particle beam cannons. Uh, they were able to cross vast distances using subspace corridors and squadrons of fighters were used to conquer numerous worlds throughout the Delta Quadrant. Um, here's a close-up of the aft of the ship. Um, some on-screen appearances. Here we see them in the hangars. And uh, yeah, you know, they're, 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 they were kind of duping Voyager for a little bit, if memory serves. Um, shifting alliances, indeed. So the anatomy, what do we have here? Um, lift uh, engine intake, so VTOL, impulse thrusters, uh, waist ions, uh, warp field emitter, so capable of warp, um, cockpit, particle beams, all the, all the normal doodads and dicky-dos. Um, yeah, it's just little kind of little nuggets there. But again, feel free to pause and kind of read if you haven't got the magazine or you're not choosing to. But I won't kind of spoil it, so you can kind of fast forward over these. Um, here we have designing uh, the Vadwar fighter and city, no less. So Tim Earl's designed uh, design. Tim Earl's design for the Vadwar even can't even talk today or read, no less. Uh, the assault fighter ended up not to be used, but his concepts for the Vadwar city made it too on screen. Do you know, I do dig the um, the fighter concept, in all fairness, and uh, we've seen some of Tim Earl's work uh, in the collection already. Um, and, you know, the graphics for the time were fantastic for uh, Voyager, uh, to be honest with you. So season six, that'll be an interesting read. I know it's not about the ships, to a degree it is, but again, it's about the, the aesthetics um, off it. And I know I kind of jump back and forth. I said, I don't want page upon page about, you know, costumes. Maybe someone does, but not for like a uh, Starships magazine. Um, I want it to be about ships and, you know, lore and um, how they came to be and uh, all that all that good stuff. Show me specifications and 
and all those doodads. But um, yeah, listen, there were a lot of eye candy in Voyager. Uh, oh, friendship. Was that friendship one? No, Aries four. Friendship one was the other. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Uh, Aries four. That was that anomaly that uh, Paris w went into as well. So, um, first appearance for the Vadwar ship was Dragon's Teeth uh, in Voyager. And uh, designed, well, it says designed by Tim Earls, but it wasn't. Uh, who actually designed the, the ship? Uh, do, 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 uh, let me just see here. Uh, the Vadwar says he was different alien architecture. Um, thus, when it came to Dragon's Teeth, Urs produced some concept drawings for the Vadwar ship. However, the episode proved to be very expensive in terms of special effects. Budget exhausted uh, before a CG uh, Vadwar fighter had been created. This meant the CG artist and Effects House Foundation Imaging had to find a cheap way of producing it. So, um, Foundation Imaging were the designers of the fighter. So, yeah, okay. There you go. Uh, I don't have a name there. Maybe maybe I do. Le leave the name in the comments below because I haven't... It's, again, it's more of a first look than anything else. Uh, coming up soon, we have a very small, interesting craft, the Starfleet Tug, issue 140. Could you believe it? 140. It's amazing. Uh, let's close out on the magazine, though. And let's actually have an up-close-and-person look at the model, shall we? Okay, here we go. Our little assault fighter. 15th century shenanigans. Oh, up close and personal with uh, our Shrekkie's arm here. Fantastic. In high definition, no less. Um, let me just get out this for a second. Ah! Shenanigans. Uh, 5912. You know I like to look at the numbers. A slash A, Vadwar fighter. And as I said, our little doodad clips onto the back in through these um, impulse engines. So, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do a little bit of ASMR for you. There you go. Because that's a thing now, isn't it? It's crazy. Whatever floats your boat. You know, that's fine by me. Let's put that to one side for a second. And, whoa, this is pretty big. I'll compare it to a ship in the line, I know, don't you worry about that, folks. But um, let's have a look at the sculpt and the paint applications here. Um, weapons seem pretty aligned okay there which is nice um yeah i like it to be honest with you um plastic inserts for the wart nacelles um paneling overall sculpt looks look, looks really sharp you know you have your kind of central assembly over here um you have some panel detailing your pylons are on pretty well aligned as well and going, going down into the kind of triple cluster of uh, impulse Again, with some moulding for detailing on the aft as well. And uh, interesting detailing on the ventral section for those, which is pretty cool. Kind of like some kind of brass copper accents there. Um, a little bit more simple on the ventral section, but again, you have... Uh, that's actually detailing in there with the sculpt, not paint apps. And again, a lot of panelling there as well. Uh, on the paint-wise, you see a lot of these kind of scorch marks. Uh, they're a little bit kind of bold, kind of a bit clunky um but just to kind of show atmospheric entry i would assume but you would kind of expect it to be maybe a little bit here but again you'd have your shielding to take care of that so why have it on the leading edge of some of the wings there but i, I get the idea but it's a little bit maybe if the model was a little bit more um weathered uh, a bit more uh, kind of grime built into it as well especially being atmospheric you know um but it's still very nice. Quite a surprise. Um, I was delighted to see it included in the uh, collection because I'd almost forgotten about it, to be honest. I was like, when I first heard Vadwar, I was like, what the hell, what the hell is Vadwar like? Um, but it all came back to me, for sure. So many ships, so many ships to have a look at. But aren't we all happy that we have them as well at the same time? Um, but yeah, it's pretty nice. I do like the nacelle shrouds in there as well. The seams are hidden, hidden pretty well. Die cast plastic you can just see that kind of seam line there just kind of for all those plastic caps there but predominantly it's it's a heavy enough heavy enough uh, ship to say the least um as regards to mounting it's just going to sit up there oh very nice 
it's in there very rigidly as well aft mounted but again you have that uh, severe rake there to kind of give you a night a look at the ventral side of it there as well but it uh, looks quite nice on the stand i will have to say so before we wrap up let's compare it to a ship in the line and uh, just kind of maybe get a sense of scale um, for you guys. But it, it is it is pretty big, to be honest with you. So just for uh, shits and giggles, um, haven't had the Bajoran Raider out for a while, have we? Um, this is another small craft. It's a two-seater, if memory serves, kind of one facing aft and one facing fore. But um, I can't remember what the dimensions are of the ship. Uh, but I just thought it would be kind of good to compare the size, because this is a pretty sizable ship as well. For which the small crafts normally are uh, shuttles aside, but um, there's the two of them. So hopefully that gives you a good sense of how big the Vadwar ship is, and it is pretty big. So um, that'll wrap up for today's uh, review, issue 139, the Vadwar Assault Fighter. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to let me know what you think of the ship in the comments below, and uh, find me over on uh, all the social spheres, Instagram, Twitter. And there's the Facebook group as well. And uh, yeah, listen, thanks for supporting the channel. Don't forget all the links are down below for Patreon and supporting the YouTube page directly. And uh, as always, have a great rest of the day. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I will see you in the next video. So take it easy and goodbye. Yeah.